A mild afternoon in Lynchburg, Virginia, and Evan and Holly Alexander are at a high school soccer game cheering on their 14-year-old son, Bob. They are a perfectly ordinary American family with an extraordinary story. They have been touched by a medical miracle and maybe more. On November 10th, 2008, Evan awoke with a searing headache. When his wife Holly checked in on him, he was having a tremendous seizure. And I said, say something. And he didn't say anything, so I called 911. Evan was rushed to the hospital where he worked as a neurosurgeon. The only word we could truly make out was help. And the rest of his verbalization was purely uh, screaming. Evan Alexander had been stricken with an extremely rare and virulent E. coli meningitis infection that was ravaging his brain, plunging him into a coma. Doctors gave him almost no chance to live and told his family if he did survive, he'd be brain damaged for the rest of his life. His eyes were just off and cocked. <laughs> it was just like no one was there. Evan believes Holly is right. He wasn't there. Many neuroscientists are deeply skeptical of Evan's claims, arguing his brain must have produced his vision somehow, most likely as he came out of coma. His first recollection, he says, was being a speck of pure awareness, dark and murky underworld. And then I was rescued by this beautiful, spinning white light that had a melody describing it. It opened up into a bright mouth. Just incredible, rich, ultra real world uh, of indescribable complexity. God was there, he says, and he encountered him through an orb of brilliant light. He soared on the wing of a butterfly with a beautiful young woman as his companion, and the young woman gave him a message to take back from heaven. You are loved, you are cherished, there's nothing you have to fear, there's nothing you can do wrong in a dream. Not what we call a confabulation. I know that it really occurred, and I know it occurred outside of my brain. He showed us his brain scan. So he wasn't leaving any part of my um, cortex unaffected. But something else happened. After he recovered, Evan, who was adopted, saw a picture of a sister from his biological family who died years ago. A woman he never knew. And I knew who my guardian angel was on the butterfly wing. profound experience I've ever had in this life, and that was the key. That explained everything. <laughs> that's for sure. Dinner time at the Alexander home. Hello, Jesus. Sorry, guys. Nice to be, but... They were not a particularly religious family before Evans' coma. He was a skeptic. Not anymore. This proves that our, our soul, our consciousness, our uh, spirit, doesn't depend on the existence of the brain and body at all. And easily is actually freed up to a much higher state of knowing. But it's free from 